Hey, how you doing, Pioneer League? David Patterson here from Patterson, New Jersey. Um, as you can see, we are in the dead of night because we've had a full day of championship action, both on the uh, championship level and in the developmental level, we call the Division II championship games. So we did have all of the Pioneer programs out here competing, having a great time. Uh, had Let's run down some of the games. Uh, Sharks in the 8U championship game took care of business against No Limit. Great job to those guys. We had uh, Division II championship with the uh, Colts and the Cowboys. Cowboys just edged out the Colts. In our championship divisions, we had the Bronx Steelers sweep all three levels, including a monumental upset of previously undefeated and defending champion, even on a national level, uh, Silk City Elite. Great job to the Steeler program. First sweep that we've had since the great sport sweep of 2015. Um, absolutely awesome time. Okay, we're here, Pioneer League Championship game. Sean Godbolt, the man responsible for all the success of year seven for the Pioneer League, took the, the reins of the program. This is the first year that I was able to relax, hang out, and have some fun. So I just want to announce that this year, Man of the Year award for the Pioneer Football League. There was nobody else that even came close. Sean Godbolt, Pioneer Football League executive extraordinaire. Well done, sir. Thank you. I appreciate it. This year working with Pioneer, we're kind of in the rebuilding stages and whatnot. Coming back out strong for 2019. Pioneer Football. Go, right now. Go, right now.
See, I would have thought number five was getting the ball. Right, at least Well, so we got it going. We have some more playoff action and more uh, postseason action down in Delaware. No limits hosting uh, state regionals. We have uh, Virginia regionals coming up uh, Thanksgiving weekend as well, and nationals coming up in December for some of our teams heading down to Florida. So it is a fully action packed. Uh, winter time and we did feel the full-fledged force of winter as the temperature tipped down to 35 degrees today um, a lot of great action during the course of the day a lot of a lot of fun great facility we want to thank the nifty program specifically coach Carter for hosting us today and an absolutely amazing time we had a bunch of programs out here inner city uh, pioneer So that does it for another season. As season seven comes to a close, we're officially uh, done with the Pioneer season. We get into postseason mode. Uh, we will, of course, have highlights and clips and give you updated on everything going on. Next week is Rivalry Week. We have Lehigh Lafayette, Fordham's in action, uh, some of our affiliates. Um, Cardinal Hayes advancing to championship games, so we'll definitely give you that action of all of our Pioneer affiliates. Um, and some off-season news, including what's going on in New York Patriot land. And then finally, for the holidays, as Christmas and New Year's comes up, our 2018 year in review, where we'll give you all the highlights, the clips, and some of the great things that happened during the course of the 2018 season. We also want to say um, great job, man of the year, Sean Godbolt, um, the pioneer executive of the league. We've kind of been rebuilt this thing and retooled this thing, and he's been the one that's been uh, leading the way and leading the charge. So I want to say thank you to him as we go into season eight of the Pioneer Football League. And for that, uh, from here in Patterson, New Jersey, David Patterson, 